Hello, the one and only Xylophony here with Mousecraft to give you guys another top 10 Ark Survival Evolved video. So recently people have been wondering what are the top 10 strongest dinosaurs in Ark Survival Evolved and we're going to cover that right now with Xylophony. Yes we are. So number 10, we have the Carnotaur. So this guy of course is fast, powerful, and dangerous in the wild. If one comes across you, he's not going to stop chasing you until you either get him stuck on something or you're stuck between his teeth. And he has a pretty derpy uh, run, honestly. Yeah, but, but he's super yeah. aerodynamic with those arms. <laughs> I know, it looks so funny, though. All right, so moving on to number nine, we have the Parasarithrium. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. Close enough. But, yeah, it's basically like a horse and rhino kind of combination. It's very big. It spawns in the swamp biome, and it's relatively new. Also, this guy has, it's actually very powerful compared to the most dinosaurs currently. And with this giant stomp, it obliterates anything around. Yeah, it just controls the whole swamp biome. Nothing in there in that dangerous terrain yeah. messes with him. Anyway, for number eight, we have the Gigantopithecus. Now, this Ooh. guy is interesting because he is both very useful and very dangerous. It's very difficult to tame one of these guys because once they start coming after you, they just hit you so hard it just breaks through your armor. And, you know, it's just super dangerous. Oh, yeah. They won't stop. It's ridiculous. And plus, they have a pretty good use. Um, and, yeah, they're actually pretty easy to tame as well. You're simply not completely easy, but you can tame them the lowest level for sure. All right. So, moving on to number seven. And we have the Ankylosaurus. This guy is an absolute freaking tank with the spikes on its back. It's pretty famous and well known in the dinosaur community. I don't know what you want to call it, but overall, it, it is kind of slow. But with its armor, it's very strong. And his tail, when it suspends around and it causes that bash and arc, dude, he destroys anything around him. Some crazy every damage. And honestly, it's it's pretty good. Like once he starts coming at you, he hits you, he's gonna take you down without a problem. Absolutely. This one's actually my favorite dinosaur. And just seeing him in the wild, just taking out eagles and T-Rexes without yeah. any problem, it's just pretty impressive. Anyway, for number six, we're going into the oceans with the Megalodon. Now, although you don't really need to worry about a Megalodon unless you go swimming, if you do find yourself in the ocean, these guys will definitely be a danger. Not only are they super strong and pretty fast, they usually hunt in groups. So if you come across some in the wild, you're going to want to try to get out of there as fast as possible. Oh my god, these guys, once they catch up to you, dude, they're going to freaking tear you apart without a problem. Like, there's no way to escape them, honestly. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, moving on to the... Number five, we have the Dire Wolf. Oh man, Ooh. that was, was kind of fancy. That was, was kind of like a fancy bark, <laughs> I guess. Hell, uh, but we have the Dire Wolf. It is brand new dinosaur added into the game. I guess animal. Um, uh, and dude, this thing is absolutely freaking vicious. It looks so cool. And overall, it is super fast. It's uh, very strong with the hits. It just keeps coming at you. And dude, I was actually fighting one of these things, and they came right at me. It broke my armor, and it almost killed me. So they just keep constantly attacking you. Very high attack speed, very high attack damage. Um, and they're actually difficult to kill, honestly. Not too strong, but they're quick, agile, and also very high damage. Absolutely. Just the fact that these guys keep chasing after you with tremendous speed, even with a pack, just makes them one of the Ooh, most the pack. crazy things to come across in the wild. If you yeah. do and you're not 100% prepared, you are 100% going to die. But yeah, we're just, going to move on to number four, the oh, Brontosaurus. Let me add on to the Direwolf. Let me coolly add on to that. Sure. Also, they do travel in packs. That's another thing we should probably say. They're Let always in packs. Yeah. <laughs> crazy, man. Anyway, Brontosaur. We have here the largest dinosaur in the game right now, and it is on this list because not only does it do pretty good damage and tank a ton of hits, but it's tough to get near this thing when you're fighting. Its tail swipe does crazy AoE damage and hits everything in the area, dealing a good amount and keeping it away from you. Yeah, this thing has a crazy knockback, holy crap. I tried to fight him with a Darwolf before, and I couldn't even get to him. It just kept on knocking me back, doing loads of damage, and of course, it's super, I mean, buffed up with the health and such. All right, so moving on to number three, we have the Plesiosaur, back to the ocean topic. And dude, this thing's amazing. Just look at it. It's a freaking Plesiosaur. It's oh, huge. Yeah. It has a lot of use to it now because you can put bases on the back of it. And they're very, very fast in the ocean. They take down uh, Megalodons without a problem. You can take down, I think, like 10 Megalodons without a problem. They're buffed up. They have a high attack damage, very fast swimmers, and they're pretty agile. So, not only that, but you can also put a base on their back to make them even Dude, that more frightening. Sweet. Same with the Brontosaur. 
But we're going to move on to number two. Now, as you guys can imagine, there's only two powerful dinosaurs left. But for number two, we are going to say the Spinosaurus. Ooh, people are going to actually be kind yeah. of pissed off. We, we may get a little flack about what's number one and two here, but the Spinosaurus is nothing to joke about. It is fast on both land and in water, and it just does a ton of damage, massive strength all around, just going crazy. The only thing is... It's maybe bigger than number one, but I think number one is a little bit stronger. Now, this topic has been debated for a very long time, honestly, just, you know, the T-Rex and the and spiders and such, uh, which one is stronger or not, but, uh, number two, definitely Spinosaurus, just because, honestly, it can die pretty quickly. It does do a lot of damage, it's very fast, but it can die pretty quickly in the game. Alright, so, moving on to the big number one, you guys probably suspected it, it's mm -hmm. the T-Rex. Oh, man, people are gonna be so pissed about Spinosaur not being. Oh man, maybe the Dodo, dude. Maybe the Dodo. I don't know. <laughs> but yo, the T Rex over here. Complete freaking tank. It is a tank. It is fast. Does a crap load of damage and takes hit without a problem. If you guys beef this guy up with the levels and such, it's gonna hit about I would say or easily over 10,000 health and just loads of damage with them. They're just it's a freaking T Rex. You can't even argue with them. It's just you know super overpowered. Absolutely. Just the combination of everything on the T Rex just makes it stronger on land entirely. Now, Spinosaurus are tough, they're big, but when it comes down to just raw stopping power, yeah. we gotta say that's the T-Rex. And the T-Rex could actually obliterate the uh, Spinosaurus in the game very easily, surprisingly. But, in the game. Yep. And that's what we're game. talking about game. here. Just a just game, guys, so don't be worried. And they do kind of, they, they pretty much they kind of overpower the T-Rex, honestly. It is a T-Rex, after all. Yeah. All right, so anyways, we're going to wrap it up here. So hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to check out Zalafony and for the big 500 likes. And comment down below what top 5 or top 10 do you want to see next? Thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time.